Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this Linux tutorial video I'll be showing you how to write a Raspberry Pi image file to a micro SD card via a graphical user interface method. Now, in the past I have shown you how to use the terminal command dd, but this is a nicer method for those who prefer to use the GUI, and it is perhaps a less risky method because the other name for dd is disk destroyer, should you accidentally select the wrong drive you're writing the image file to. So I've downloaded a zip file from the Raspberry Pi website, which happened to be down at time of recording. However, I had this image already saved, so yeah, not really too much of a problem. So I'll right click on it and go extract here. Now this tutorial applies to the GNOME desktop and the GNOME file manager. I have tried the equivalent command in the KDE partition manager, but it did not work properly. So open up GNOME disks, select the micro SD card, then go across the menu on the top right hand side there and select restore disk image. The image to restore, go across to the file where it's located and then select the .img file. Then open. The disk image is 14 gigs smaller than the target device. Yeah, no problem at all with that. I can use the partition resizer later in Raspbian. Yeah, start restoring. All existing data will be lost. Yeah, again, go for it. Ah, we need the root or sudo authentication. So that's a nice little countdown there, and we know it's going to take about three minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Well, the image has now finished copying, and that does indeed replicate what I've seen with the results of DD. We have a small partition for the boot, and a larger partition for the remaining root file system. Another handy feature of GNOME disks is you can create a disk image from this. In other words, you can create a nice backup image of the data you have on your Raspberry Pi. So should you mess anything up in future, or the disk becomes corrupt, you can easily recreate it onto another microSD card. So that's how to copy Raspbian onto a microSD card via a graphical user interface method. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.